Good afternoon. My name is Armando Lopez. I'm a resident of San Jose, and I do support the uh, CHP and Sheriff assisting the City of San Jose Police Department, uh, especially right now. This is uh, definitely a crucial time uh, in the city. Um, you can see my son in here. The reason we're here is to uh, ensure that there is patrolling in our neighborhood. We live by a school, and uh, three schools actually, and we do see a lot of speeding, um, we have seen an increase of criminal activity, especially in our neighborhood from robbery, other activities. And by having simply additional uh, law enforcement, regardless of the agency that they represent, would definitely help deter having, uh, or potentially uh, deter crim uh, criminal activity. So we do support that uh, as a resident and a family member. So I do appreciate your consideration in this. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, next speaker is George Simikovitz. And you'll um, my name is George Shumkevich. Uh, my wife and I live in Monta Vista in the midtown urban village area across from Del Monte Park. Our community is under siege. Every day we wake up to a new series of petty crimes committed in our community and the police department management has failed us as, as, as citizens. People sleeping in our stairways, jamming doors to gain access, trespassers taunting women walking their dogs by jumping the VTA fence onto our property and being intimidated towards them as they pass by, people occupying our front porches while they charge their cell phones using our electricity, stripping, stripping wires from street lights in our community and the Del Monte Park across the street, costing both of us money, illegally opening mailboxes and stealing our mail, squatting with impunity in abandoned buildings across the VTA track from us at 740 West San Carlos. The homeless encampment was evicted recently only to have them come back a few hours later and set the place on fire. No sooner had the fire been put out than they moved back in and expanded by occupying the next building. No action has been taken by the police. Sam's Feed and Fuel called 911 because three men were beating up a woman, but the police didn't come. The next day, SJPD said, they had to prioritize the calls and didn't have anybody to, to handle the, the matter. These are just a few examples demonstrating the criminals have taken over our city. Let's not fool ourselves. The situation is not manageable. If we are to put a stop to this steady decline in the quality of life for San Jose's urban village citizens, we must take forceful and immediate action now. For this reason, my wife and I support Councilman Oliverio's proposal to seek help from the Sheriff's Department and the Highway Patrol. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Bob Eiley, and my wife and I also live in Monte Vista community, and we agree with the statements of George. And in addition, I'd like to add that we have observed drug deals taking place on our property on adjacent Los Gatos Creek Trail and in the Orchard, uh, Orchard Supply Hardware parking lot just down the street. There are other things I would like to point out. Um, is that all this activity takes place adjacent to Del Monte Park where families and, children's play, and children play and which will soon feature a community soccer field, bringing additional children and families into the area. Unless we get crime uh, problems under control, San Jose's reputation will further decline and people and companies will no longer feel comfortable moving here. Thank you. We agree with uh, Councilman Oliverio. Okay. Thank you kindly. Um, and, and for the testimony, I mean, um, count, uh, no, uh, Lee Hayward. Council members and staff, um, as a San Jose resident for the last 25 years and a San Jose small business owner, I'm speaking in support of augmenting the San Jose Police Department now with other law enforcement agencies, uh, rather than waiting for the time that we are able or willing to hire additional police uh, to the force. And let me tell you briefly why. My neighbors and I have had a continued problem with some of the tenants of our large apartment complex in our neighborhood. And we've tried to contact the absentee landlord as well as the super of that complex to no avail. And amplified voice and electronics continue from 6 p.m. till 2 a.m on most weekends and sometimes during the week. Two weeks ago, um, and many of our neighbors, at least eight, 
uh, from our block as well as the block over called the anon emergency number um, and were initially told that an officer would be out within the next two hours. We called back two hours later and were told that no one had been sent out. We called four hours later, our calls were blocked and were continued to be blocked and we could no longer get a response from a dispatcher. That happened to at least eight households on our block. Noise abatement may not seem like a very important um, issue, um, but when it involves M80 rockets being uh, fired and large fireworks um, being also put on um, drug proliferation at the same time, uh, many of us do consider it to be a hazard and the quality of life of many in our neighborhood has been negatively affected. My support of this is in no way um, meant to diminish my support of the current police force. Mm -hmm. In fact, our issue is a continuing problem that has occurred for the last 15 years. And, uh, and Lee, thank you, your time is up. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I live in the College Park neighborhood of San Jose. Uh, we surround Bellarmine uh, College Prep and are across the Alameda from the Rose Garden. Um, I just want to voice my strong support for Council Member Oliverio's proposal. Um, our neighborhood is small, but it's very active and very responsive, and we've been doing as much as we can calling code enforcement 311911, uh, communicating with each other, posting uh, pictures of suspicious characters, you name it, and we're just tearing our hair out. Very discouraged over the situation, and we really need help. We really need um, to have the citizens take top priority in this consideration, not the union. Um, and I'll just say ditto to all the complaints and um, anecdotes that have been mentioned so far. We're experiencing the same thing in spades. Thanks. Thank you for hearing me out. I came largely to support my fellow uh, neighbors on Cherry Avenue with very similar um, issues that were brought up by my fellow San Joseans. And um, after hearing them out, our issues aren't small, they're large, but they are building towards exactly what's happening in these other neighborhoods, and I can already see it. There's a huge speeding problem uh, right in front of Willow Glen High School and Middle School, blatantly with um, no regard to the signage, to children crossing the street and what, and what have you. And there's also been an increased um, incidence of vagrancy and loitering behind the high school late at night. I've been in San Jose over 30 years and I've always enjoyed you know, the peace and, and calmness of this city. And I really appreciate the job that San Jose PD has done and their intent. But my plea is that we can put politics and unions and all this aside and make come to some agreement that we need help. And I am here in 150% support of Councilman Oliverio to get us this relief at least until you can figure this out and all come together. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. My name is Joan Belsinski and I live at Georgetown at Park and Sonol. And we have seen the increase of criminal activity um, over the last three years become a serious problem. Everything from homeless to break-ins to vandalism our mailboxes have been destroyed so badly that we had to work with the postal inspector and the post office to buy high security mailboxes and move them to a more secure position. Um, I truly support the San Jose police and what they are doing, but I think they need help, so I support what Pierre Luigi is saying. And I actually talked to a police officer recently and he said that there our area has been decreased from seven officers patrolling to four. And because just the presence of police officers will deter people from, from criminal activity happening. 
and I'm just tired of being woken up in the middle of the night every night by homeless, um, sleeping in our area, <laughs> causing problems, leaving trash. So I, anything we can do in the meantime to help with the police um, would be wonderful and welcomed. Thank you.